Premier, I'm hoping to get your reaction to uh, the head of Destination Greater Victoria um, yesterday was was critical of the federal government's decision to cancel the whole cruise ship season without first considering or embracing technologies like rapid testing. What's your reaction to that? Well, certainly we're all working on uh, getting more comfort and confidence in rapid testing. Dr. Henry uh, is working with a whole host of pilots. Uh, we're taking advantage of the abundance of rapid tests we have available, but there are a good number of false positives and also false negatives as a result of those tests. And that's been a concern of ours from the beginning. With respect to the cruise ship industry, I know that this is a big blow for uh, Victoria, parts of Vancouver, and even up island and beyond into Prince Rupert and Alaska. But uh, I'm confident uh, if you talk to the vast majority of people in Victoria, they would be hailing this decision. We are not comfortable as a community to welcome the world back to British Columbia until the world gets their act together when it comes to COVID-19. And uh, having assurances that thousands and thousands and thousands of people will be uh, dis uh, disgorging at uh, Ogden Point uh, and waving around a rapid test that may or may not be accurate is probably not going to meet the test of the vast majority of Victorians. And I appreciate the disappointment of those who depend on the cruise ship industry, but we're not at that stage yet. And I I'll have to leave it to the federal government to, again, as I've said a couple times today, manage the international borders. I was uh, uh, very, very anxious for them to do so 12 months ago, and I'm grateful that they're continuing to do that. Do you have a follow-up, Rob? I do. I'm wondering in relation to, we've talked about the fact that as more vaccines get rolled out, life will gradually get back to normal for businesses and the rest of us. Um, but with no cruise ship season through to 2022, um, there are businesses that, that you know rely on that foot traffic and when things like the federal rent and wage subsidies are perhaps pulled back or, or ended come the summer, is there any contemplation of giving specific relief to tourism businesses that won't have those subsidies perhaps and will be hit by the double whammy of not having that foot traffic from the cruise ships? Is that something specifically your government would consider giving extra subsidies to those tour tourism businesses? Well, yeah, well, we are working on that. Uh, the Tourism Association has been meeting with Minister Mark and meeting with Minister Kalon about how we can continue to help not just those small businesses, but large businesses like uh, Butchart Gardens, who depend on a lot of foot traffic to employ a lot of people. Uh, these major attractions uh, are not eligible for some of the small business grants that we have on the table. So we're looking at how we can help these larger businesses that are, are almost solely dependent on international travelers and the visitor economy. I wanna see that come back as quickly as possible, but I know the vast majority of British Columbians will disagree with that until such time as there's evidence that the world, not just uh, Washington State and people going to Peace Arch Park, but the world has got their act together here. And we all want that to happen as quickly as possible, whether you're in the tourism business or not. I would want, the Coho Ferry hasn't run for almost a year and it had a, a, a one, one uh, unscheduled stop in 60 years before that. And the number of people that get off the Coho every day and stay here for a long period of time has had a far greater impact on businesses than those that have a three hour, four hour, five hour stop uh, at the cruise ship terminal. So there are a whole host of other uh, tourism uh, opportunities that we need to explore. And I'll leave it to the federal government to answer for why they moved it all the way to 2022. That was their decision, not ours. Uh, we, we are certainly uh, grateful that they're focused on keeping our borders secure until such time as we see positive outcomes around the world.